In our time together, I want to focus all the way back to 13,000 years ago when it's believed human occupation started, although humans have occupy this area likely since time immemorial. Sure. So can you take us back um, as far as we can go in this park and, and what we understand from human occupation? Yeah, absolutely. From an archaeological sense, we're very, very fortunate at this park to have exactly what you're speaking of. We have evidence of a tradition we would call the Clovis tradition, which I'm sure most folks are familiar with. It's around 13,000 years old. Uh, primarily known from their really stylized, beautifully artistically made spear points that preserve quite well. We have a number of those sites in the park. Um, maybe what's most interesting to me, again, it comes back to those animal bones, uh, about Clovis peoples is that they were inhabiting this landscape side by side with now extinct fauna. Um, now, we haven't found any of those faunal remains preserved just yet in the park. But these folks were living and alongside and hunting and harvesting, you know, North American camels that no longer exist. And short faced bears were there and all just these massive mammoths, for example. Everyone's familiar with woolly mammoths. Around here, we had Columbia mammoths, which were less less hairy and, and significantly bigger. Um, and these people were highly, highly nomadic. So they would move all around the landscape hundreds and hundreds of miles uh, with it seems to be one of the primary purposes was to procure high quality stone for uh, manufacturing their stone spear points. Um, And that's clearly what drew a lot of these early 13,000 year old people here is the petrified wood. They were able to use that and make these exquisite spear points. That's what we know as far as the earliest uh, cultural tradition here. A lot of folks are probably hearing on the news about White Sands, uh, which is not terribly far east of here. If those things are accurate, which is sounding like they may very well be, that pushes it back another eight or 10,000 years. So as archaeologists, we're pretty excited about the fact that we still have all these big questions that can be answered about the earliest people that we know of, at least for physical evidence of when they were here. So yeah, 13,000 years for right here, but there's a good chance that we're going to end up going back quite a bit further than that. 